Hi there, Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai. Today we're looking at my asparagus fern again. This will be the second video of this tree, or plant. Um, in the last video re we repotted it and we did what styling we could do on it. Uh, it was looking a little... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> Less than healthy, I guess. It was a little weak on top. It hadn't been repotted in three or four years, so... We repotted it, put it in better soil, and the vigor is coming back to the tree. The reason we're making the video today is that the plant is in flower right now. There's some nice white flowers here and there on it, so I'll give you a close-up view of that. So here's a close-up of the flowers. You can see they're very small. They start off as a little round sort of globe, and when they open up they have a little bit of yellow inside. So they're really quite nice, and they're kind of the right scale for a, you know, a plant or tree of this size. So yeah, I really like the flowers. So today we're going to do a little bit of work on it. We're just going to prune some of these longer shoots that are out of the rounded shape of our canopy off. So we're going to trim them shorter. And you just have to give the tree a haircut. A hedge type pruning is about all you can do in these. Some of the, you know, you'll get one long shoot with some sub branches coming off of it. You can prune those back shorter also. Otherwise they'll get too long. So you can kind of prune out a lot of crossing foliage. You can, uh, you know, you can just prune it to the profile if you want, or you can go in and clean it up a bit more. But again, all this structure is just temporary. Uh, you know, as it continues to grow, older branches die off or older, older leaves, so it's a kind of tree or plant that doesn't need a lot of care. You just prune it to shape every now and then and that's about all you can do. I don't want to prune off too many of the flowers, but uh, we want to give it a little better shape. As these uh, leaves harden off, they go from a light green color to a darker green. And the leaves last quite a long time. Um, they'll probably last almost a year. Like the, you know, a leaf will come out, it'll extend and sort of mature. And you'll probably get a year before it dies back, sometimes even more. So, you know. Once you've shaped the tree, it's just a matter of pruning off the shoots as they start extending out beyond your profile, and that's about it for the shaping of the tree. I've got a few branches out the back here that are really low, and they're not too bad, but I don't want them like dragging on the ground here, so I'm going to prune some of them off. Well, probably all of these low ones. Like that. And then there's another one back here that we can prune off, like so. That looks better. It gives it more of a, you know, a feeling of the trunk to it, which is just roots. The other thing I want to do with this plant is I want to weed it. And I want to get a layer of moss on it. I've never put a layer of moss on it just because uh, just never got around to it. This is, uh, you know, always this tree or plant always sits in the corner and I water it and when a big shoot comes off and starts blocking out my other trees, I'll prune it, but it doesn't get a lot of care, this tree. Um, I should give it more because it's interesting looking for a, you know, house plant. So we're going to put some moss around the base of the tree and clean up our soil a bit. So let's do that next. Yeah, so there's not a lot of weeds. It's mostly these uh, little ones that look like clover, but aren't. <laughs> I don't know the name of them. I did it one time, but... Yeah, they look like clover, but they're... 
they're a type of a weed. So we just want to pick those out. This plant started out as a little, uh, you know, representing a tree in a forest in one of my plantings. And it kind of just grew, and it, it's uh, 22 years old now. So it's getting quite old. And old plants like this, they, uh, they're kind of special. Everyone has, you know, a mom or dad who has, has a house plant that's really old. Sometimes jades or, you know, any house plant that's, you know, really old. And they, they start to get interesting features. And I think, you know, this one's certainly unique. As far as asparagus ferns go, it's uh, probably one of the more unique ones. Okay, so the next step, we want to level out some of this soil, scrape off our top layer and, you know, get it slightly below the lip of the pot. And then get some moss and plant it. And this tree, I'm normally very concerned about, you know, I don't want moss growing up the trunk. But I think on this tree it would look quite good if moss kind of started growing up the roots and that. You know, you don't want it so heavy you can't see the roots, but I don't think it would look bad to have a bit of moss mixed in with the roots on this one. It might make it look even more tree-like. These roots will grow in the air on humid days. Some of these have dried up a bit. So I'm just pruning off some of the ones that are looking a little dry on the ends that, uh, you know, aren't very good looking. Let's start scraping our soil back. Try not to make too much of a mess. We just kind of want it to flow into the ground. The the uh, the ferns kind of style like a like a ficus tree, I guess. It's, uh, you know, supposed to look like aerial roots covering the trunk. It doesn't quite look like that, but uh, that's kind of the closest vision I see of it is a uh, sort of like a ficus tree. Um, these asparagus ferns, they're from South Africa and they're poisonous all parts of the plant, so don't eat them. Not that you were going to eat them, but don't, don't eat them anyway. And uh, they're considered a weed in, you know, any tropical climate pretty well. Except maybe the native, their native birthplace. So in places like Florida, they can run wild and they're very invasive. But in the pot like this, they're fine. Okay, that's looking pretty good, I think. We have it just below the lip of the pot. So our moss will sit on there nicely. Maybe a little more off here. trunk like this in the tree, what I've done starting 22 years ago, every time I repot it, I raise it up a bit in the soil level. So, you know, normally an asparagus fern is uh, planted right up to the foliage. I just expose a little, little bit more each year and you get kind of that above ground root system that's hardy and can take the environment. So every year it gets a little taller and a little bigger. I'd love to put this in a show sometime just to confuse people so they'd have to guess what it, what it is. I don't know if too many people would guess if it's an asparagus fern or not. Not sure. Okay, let's get some moss and start applying it to the surface. Okay, let's start planting our moss. So I got some big, big clumps of it. We'll just Place it on the surface like that. The moss is a little dry, but uh, 
we'll wet it down and trim it. This is quite bushy. You know, kind of like wild moss rather than my domesticated trimmed kind. Moss gone wild. Yeah. So to wet it, I'm just going to get one of my spray bottles. This will wet both the moss and the soil. So then you can push it down and it'll you know, have good contact with the soil and grow really well. And we're going to prune it in a bit too. But for now I'm just kind of getting the moss placed on. Nice big piece there. We'll bring it right up to the roots of the tree. So we'll wet it all down now. Asparagus ferns can take quite a bit of dryness. You know, they do need to be watered every now and then, but uh, they can take some drought. Okay, we're just going to make sure all our moss is pressed down and in contact with the soil or the medium. Always sounds like something out of a ghost story. The medium. Ooh. We're in contact with the medium. There. Okay, so I'm going to trim some of this moss away from the edge here that's overhanging. Always a no no in bonsai to have moss overhanging the lip of your pot. Looks untidy. And bonsai is the tree and the pot combined. So each has, each has equal importance. So you don't want moss overhanging your little pot. So we're going to let the moss dry a bit. It's kind of soaking wet right now. And when it dries a bit, we'll come in and give it a light pruning just to give it a nice fine layer. And then the moss will probably grow like crazy in the next, you know, month or so indoors here and then when it gets outside it's going to grow like crazy so we'll be doing lots of pruning and maintenance to it. For pruning the moss I like to use these curved surgical scissors. I get these at the surplus store for two dollars and twenty-five cents each and you know I use them until they get dull. And I might even sharpen them the odd time but uh, when they're too bad then I go buy a, a new pair. And they're good for pruning moss and so that's all we need to do is just keep our moss pruned in check so it looks good so we don't build up a big thick fuzzy layer that gets out of control. That's all the work we'll be doing on our asparagus fern today. We've got it pruned up looking as nice as it can for now and it's got some really nice white flowers on it which I really like. So Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.